Let's make a VHS effect for your edit on Premiere Pro. First, add on the sharpen effect directly onto your clip and change the sharpen amount all the way up to 50. Then you want to search for unsharp mask, the one underneath sharpen and drag that onto your clip as well. Change the amount to 100 and the radius anywhere from 25 to 50. 50 is on the stronger side, so you can see the colors are more vibrant. 25 isn't as vibrant. It's a matter of preference and I'm going to go for 25. Head over to your product tab, right click, new item, adjustment layer and click OK. Add it on top of your clip and extend it. Then what we're going to do is add on directional blur underneath blur and sharpen onto the adjustment layer and then head over back to effect controls, set the blending mode to darken, blur direction to 90 and blur length anywhere from I'd say 6 to 10. Let's go for 10. So now you will get this smear like effect. So before and after. You can see it's visible around the edges as well as on the character itself. Add on one more adjustment layer and extend it. Then what we're going to do is search for Gaussian Blur or is it Gaussian Blur? Add it on and set the amount or the blurriness, should I say, to 4. Then search for Wave Warp this one underneath distort and copy my settings. This is what I have personally found best for my clip. So if I just show you the example in real time, this is what it looks like with these settings. Smooth noise, 25, 1000, 5, 0.5, none, zero and low. If you think it's too fast, just turn down the speed. So you could do zero, 0.2 and if you're not happy with the distortion around the edges you can see there's like these waves here you can change the pinning to all edges and what that's going to do is it's going to keep the warp you'll see it visible on the character if i just play it but it won't be visible around the edges as much and to finish it off download these overlays so i've got this vhs overlay this is what it looks like as you can see with a gray background download it scale it up so turn up the scale and set the blend mode to overlay and check it out before and after you can see we've got these like little textures around the corner here and one final thing you can add a texture so i've got this one here it should be in the same folder as the overlay we just looked at this white one here what you want to do is either scale it down or leave it as it is so if i just change it down to 50 something like that using lumetri color you can make it monochrome it just looks better in my opinion so i've removed the colors by using the saturation turning that down to five and then set the blending mode to overlay and if you want to turn down the opacity so i'm going to do 50 percent because at the moment it's a bit too strong and there you go and that's it you've now achieved a vhs effect on premiere pro with no plugins if you would like more sweet and short tutorials just like this one then feel free to subscribe